Hi y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah and I hope you're all having a great day. Today I wanted to do a unboxing on my first Treasure Art Studio. Um, this is how it arrived. I'll just show you the package real quick. There's no tears or anything. Um, I did spray it down with Lysol when I got it and it's been sitting um, in my kitchen actually. Um, so I ordered this on November 19th. Um, there was a Lizzie Falcon collab going on and I was hoping to be able to be part. Um, and so I, I put my order in and then I didn't hear anything, didn't hear anything. I sent an email to find out um, how I would hear something because like I said this is my first order and I wasn't sure if I would be getting an email or what have you letting me know that it shipped and I live in an apartment complex so my packages go to the office usually I can track everything but with this I wasn't sure how it was gonna work she did reply to me and advise me that once it gets shipped they do send you an email um, and then I guess you track it from there. Um, Wednesday, last Wednesday on the 23rd, they did send out Treasure Art Studio sent out an email saying that they apologize that shipping's been rough. However, all current orders and future orders are going to be a little bit more delayed with everything that's going on, which is understandable. Um, and then Christmas Eve, um, during my Christmas premiere, I got a delivery. This was delivered. Um, and I wasn't quite sure because it did say it was coming from, it came from Shanghai. There's where it came from, in China. Um, so I wasn't quite sure, but um, to me it looked like diamond painting, so I was assuming it was treasure arts. Um, so it was delivered Christmas Eve, and then today's Sunday, and just a little while ago, I did get an email, my shipping email. However, like I said, it's already here. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm, I'm excited because I've never, like I said, had a treasure art studio before. I don't even know where to start. Let's see. My nose is itchy, I apologize. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you all had a great holiday. I'm not sure. Not sure how to open this. Here we go. Okay. All right, so it looks like this yellow tape is over bubble wrap. So you can see this is just tape here. They taped all the way around the box. And then I do have a layer of bubble wrap. So let's continue opening this. New Year's is our next holiday. And then it's just back to regular, regular days. Okay. So the inside, so I guess they do yellow tape with like a, a black, look, matches my nails, like a black plastic on the inside. Looks to be waterproof, which is nice. Move that out of the way. Here's the bubble wrap. You can see the box underneath it. Um, this might be a new Treasure Arts way. Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen a new one unboxed. I try not to watch unboxings anymore unless I've already done it. <laughs> that way it doesn't ruin it for me. Okay. So here we go. We got a pretty big box. Let me close my knife real quick. Move that out of the way. We got a pretty good sized box here. Um, it's black and pink. I like the colors in silver. 
It says Treasure Art Studio. It's got silver and like a pink design going across. DIY Diamond Art Kit right there. On the side, it says Diamond Art Kit by Treasure Studios Art. Um, it does have their social media information right there. And their, well, I'm sorry. It's got the contact information right there, I apologize. And then over here, the social media information. Let's look at the ends. Down here, it just tells you their brand, which is nice if you have them stacked up, but you'd be able to tell by the color. Diamond art picture here. So I'm wondering if they give you an extra picture that you can, they actually provide you a square place um, where you can put it. Does say Treasure Studio Arts right there. I think I covered this end. Um, it looks like it's been, looks like it was taped at one point in time and then opened. Hopefully nothing's missing. Maybe they just, oh, you know what? It had to go through customs, so maybe they had to check it. And I, I can smell something. I'm not sure. And you guys, my nose doesn't work hardly at all, but there's something I'm smelling and I don't know what it is. Okay, and so it's got one through six steps on how you diamond paint right here. And then right here it says, go create some magic. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. The box is in fairly good shape. Like I said, looks good so far. Very strong, there's a strong smell, okay. So it looks like you have a, there's a divider right here. There's a um, toolkit that we'll look at right there. And then your canvas right here. Let me move my candle for safety. I don't know what's flammable. <laughs> that would not be a good video. Okay, so let's look at the toolkit real quick. It does come in this plastic bag. And then it's got the mesh inside. Let me figure out how to open it. There we go. Okay. So you have a cute little pink mesh bag with their brand right here, and it's tied. Let's see if I can open it. Okay. Now this is my first toolkit with them, so let's pull everything out, guys, and take a look. So the first thing you're going to get is a reusable mesh pouch. Piece of plastic. You get two squares of pink wax. Looks like it's... <laughs> looks like it's, it's been through a lot, but it did travel from... China, so that's okay. You have two multi-placers. I'm thinking a three and maybe a five. You get a pink squishy. I'm guessing that pink is their color. So you get this little squishy here. You get the short, you guys, I swear, these clear glittery pens I feel are shorter than the blue and pink the blue pens and the pink pens let me know if I'm wrong so this one's got glitter in it then you've got there's no number here and I'm not good with the multiplacers but this one is that like a seven or a ten or something and then single placer so you get the the pen Ooh, tweezers pink tweezers, which I feel are a little bit bigger than the black, maybe. They are metal. Ooh, and they have a, sorry, I'm all over the place. Here we go. I feel like they're just a little bit longer, but look at, they've got a blunt tip. They're rounded instead of pokey. And I like that because they're good for getting drills off the canvas without damaging them. So these are good. And it's got a little K 
cap right there. There's no brand on them though, but that's okay. And they got a good weight to them. And then you get a white branded Mosfa boat. And I like the, the ridges on these ones. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. So let's put that back in the mesh bag here. So far I like what I see. Okay, now this canvas, let me move the box. Okay, so this canvas right here, because um, I'm not sure if there's any paperwork or anything on the inside, but just to let you know a little bit about it, it is by Lizzie Falcon. It's supposed to be a 50 by 50 round. I chose round, I think it, they give me the option and I went with round, it's 50 by 50 and I believe it's called The Christmas Life. So let's see. It doesn't wanna come out. Okay. All right, so right away, it does have, I don't know if y'all can see it, the smell again. It's just like, it smells like, like a type of plastic. It's not bad, it just, it smells like a plastic or something. Okay, so it does have like a fabric type canvas. It's not scalloped or stitched on, on the edges, which is okay. I do know it's not poured glue and that you're not supposed to roll it back on itself, so I won't. Okay, here's the drill. There's the image right there. She's cute. They had other ones to choose from. There was lots to choose from, but this was the camp. This is the image that I liked, and I don't like to do super huge holiday canvases because I wouldn't put it up. I don't think. <laughs> so it did lay pretty flat on its own. Um, like I said, I didn't roll it. Let's see on the top. says diamond art kit by treasure studio art and it says we create magic i like anything with the word magic in it. okay so it does have a thumbnail here up in the upper left hand corner the name is the christmas life by lizzie falcon it's a 50 by 50 i got my measuring tape so we'll figure it out and then here's the schematics or the key She's got 29 colors. And I don't know if Treasure Studio Arts has ABs or not, but because it's around, you can always add them if you want to. And then it's got the key here on the bottom right. Right, on the bottom of the canvas, it's got their website. It's got all their social media stuff, all right here. And then right here, supporting artists worldwide, 100% money back guarantee, number one customer priority. And then it's got a number down here, which is probably the oops, canvas number. This is like um, very, I don't know how to explain what this reminds me of. I really don't. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just don't know how to explain it. Okay, so... I don't see any glitter in the canvas, but the canvas looks to be very clear. Let me pull up the side, but let me rub it down first, just in case. The key looks nice and clear. I mean, not the key, I'm sorry, the drill field. 
There's no training circles. I like that. Let me see. Sticky. Oh my gosh. Okay. By far. <laughs> look, it's pulling my skin. By far the stickiest canvas I've ever touched. And that's no lie. I will give them that for sure. Okay. So, the, basically you have the moon. He's got the Santa hat. There's a big clock. I like clocks too. There's this little elf, I guess you would. I don't know. Little little lady sitting right here. There's. I'm surprised there's 29 colors because to be honest, it doesn't look like there's that many colors. But let me put the image. I am going to save this till next year. I'll be working on this for Christmas next year. Hopefully there's another event. Here's the drills again. Let's open this so we can see the image. If I could figure out how. Where is it? Here we go. So here's the paper. Um, it is round. Okay, that's what I ordered. Good. It's got the contact information again down here. Um, ooh, what's crystal rhinestone? Square, round, or crystal rhinestone? I got the round. This is. It's got the name. Fifty by fifty. We'll check that. Here's the image of her. So there's not much color looking at the picture. But again, they did provide 29 colors, so that's gonna be nice. And then with the key over here, I could put this through the Xyron and make labels if I want to. Um, it does look like they're pre-bagged. Let's real quick measure the canvas just to see if we've got this 50 by 50. Is that what it is? Yeah, 50 by 50. All right. Let me put it where you guys can see. Okay. That's 50. That's 50. Turn her around. Put the one right here. Where are we starting? Starting at zero, ending at 50. I don't know if you could see that. So it is true to size. That's another plus. All right, so let's flip her over and look at these drills. Like I said, they are pre-bagged. I am noticing that these are much bigger drill bags than what I'm used to, which there's nothing wrong with that. So the first color is 413. Oh look, on the drill, remember the bottom right corner, that little number I showed you? That matches right here. So even if your bags get separated individually, it does have the canvas number. That's really cool. And then I'm assuming this is the weight of the um, drills. They don't seem oily or anything. Maybe a little static, but that's okay. So we got 413. Where are we? 414. 315, I'm sorry, <laughs> 350, 317, so grays and reds, 310, one sixty-eight. sorry I keep swaying out of view, 154, 934 823 
6-4-8. Look. See, they look good. They look good. 6-4-6. Six, six. Oh, I see some right over here. Some little, um, see that real close? A couple of cavities, but that's okay. Oh, and I notice as I zoom in, they got lots of facets on them, which makes them extra sparkly. 3801 644 640 608 that's a bright orange 415 318 3860 902 3072 that's a big bag I like that color too 3041 Ooh, here's that mint color what they I feel like I got a rhinestone in there. I did. I got a little green. Oh, I got a couple of green rhinestones. I'm not mad at that. 37.56. I know I saw some. Where did they go? Oops. There's one right there. Thirty thirty one. 355 939 oh, a really big bag this is the whole size of my hand <laughs> 3865 but see how these are these are I mean this is half my hand already this one bag it's not one of those little bags he, he's a big bag all of them are big bags and then this is going to be the big bag for the white all right. So I didn't see any ABs unless it snuck past me. That's okay. Like I said, with rounds, um, there's so many options you can add your own. Okay. One more time. I'll show the image here. I will link the um, canvas in my description below. If you guys would be interested, again, I know that Christmas is over. It does take time with Treasure Art Studios. Just keep that in mind. Um, and like I said, I did get the email saying that it's going to even take a little bit longer right now. So um, just be patient, though, because I feel like so far um, I have no complaints on this canvas. The only thing I find that's a little strange is... It does have like a plasticky smell, but I'm sure that will go away in time. It could just be the glue. It's not that big of a deal. It's nothing that's, you know, I, I can't deal with. Um, but it's true to size, clear. I don't know. I don't have anything negative to say at this time. Um, I, again, won't be working on it till next Christmas. Um, I might work on it before. I'm not sure. But I'll make sure to give you guys a follow-up and let you know how it goes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate all of you. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.